So how do you feel about me being tied to you for the next year? Okay, to go with uninformed, uh, with our percentages, uh, I feel, you know what, I feel 78% that you're going to do the right thing, but I know you're going to fuck up. You're going to do something. What kind of thing is that to I'm going to tell you why. Because, was it, three years ago, you helped me move, sort of. You just showed up with, like, other comics, right? And you yeah. were looking for stage time. That's why you showed up. Basically. And all you would do was you would, you would, rather than actually move shit, you would just look at heavy boxes and then just sit there and rub your head, acting like you were trying to do this physics problem, like, ah, God, how do I, how do I get my arms underneath yeah. that? And, and I was there because you paid me $50. I paid, that was a paid spot? You paid me $50, you cheap bastard. To move your shit. You whoa, paid whoa, me whoa, 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 and whoa. Kurt fifty dollars. Steve Byrne didn't take the money. Steve Byrne didn't take the money. And you paid you got us to move all your shit for a hundred dollars. You know how much it would have cost you to hire manpower to do that? Any idea? Joe, first of all, oh exactly. It would have cost me more. That's why I a got fortune. you. fortune. But you got fucking stage time out of it. I put I, I got put no name. stage time Joe, out of it. It happened. It's on the internet. I got no Joe helps Bill move dot com. It's on the fucking internet. <laughs> and not only that, you didn't even fucking do anything. I watched the Shut truck. Up. You I... didn't do. Sh you you watched the truck. That's what the broad does. <laughs> we should you... give you a fucking apron. You know Shut what? Up. You didn't do shit. You're gonna make me look cheap, dude. You did not. You got stop. the I'm job point, you I'm, paid for. You got you. the job you paid for. <laughs> And I was the only one with balls enough to give you that kind of fucking job. Fuck you. You're lazy. Everybody else You're was lazy. carrying boxes. That's Where bullshit. does this go, Bill? That's bullshit. <laughs> Where would you like your drum okay, set, okay. Mr. Let's, Burr? Let's, let's back up for a second. First yeah. of all, it was a studio apartment, all right? Let's not make it sure, let, make it seem like I had like a, a fucking... That was not a, a studio. There was room. What happened to your voice right there? <laughs> you hear the That's tension in his voice? That's why he can't <laughs> pick up... Oh, my God! I watched the truck. You know what I should have? I should have got fifty-one dollar bills and slapped them right in your unappreciative face. You think you could have carried fifty-one dollar bills? That d you over to the next you, diner. You, you motherfucker. Uh, I'm cheap. Yeah. I'm, cheap. I'm not. You oh. gave us. You gave us a hundred bucks total to okay. move your shit. That would have cost you five hundred dollars to get professional guys to come yeah, in and you know do what? that. My shit wouldn't have got broken. I didn't and break your you know shit. They wouldn't be fucking standing around. I've been taking blame for breaking your shit for the last three years. I didn't Dude, break that you fucking didn't break picture. It. You didn't break it. It was Kurt Metzger, but you know what? He was trying. You know what I mean? It's like he dealt for the ball. He didn't yeah. catch it. Well, I can't know. get mad at him. As opposed to you who pull up because you're afraid of getting hit over the middle. You know, a retarded kid tries. You can give him something to carry to the steps. What's, What's that? the fucking point? I said a retarded kid tries. I mean, what you know, he gets an E for effort, but he's still fucking useless is that's, my point. That's where you have to take this argument. What? You have to make fun of people. No, I'm not making fun of retarded kids, but I'm saying to you... support the terrible job that you did helping me move, and you got $50. The only person with a mental problem Joe, was the guy that thought it was adequate to give $50 to get guys to move his shit. Here, here we go with another update from here's Steve. Sean. Sean, excuse Sean's me. In here. You're okay, you're okay. Sean's I'm our okay. fill-in producer. I'm just, I, I, so are the, are the phones going to be on at any point? Uh, hopefully I'm calling them in five minutes. Okay, great. Are the okay. microphones on? Is this being broadcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are we All just right, going to run good. this later? Sean, okay. ladies and gentlemen, is filling in for Danny tonight. I'm missing Danny. Cause <laughs> I'm definitely missing Danny. Phones work when Danny was here, Sean. <laughs> Can you hear Sean, the? Sean is the mic that... picking up the laughter through the open oh, yeah. door? <laughs> no, I got you guys. Five minutes. Five minutes. I promise. There it is. Sean, I don't like your used car salesman smile. It's really starting to annoy me. <laughs> you called him my cokehead smile last time. Oh, is that what it is? Coke Whatever it is, smile. it involves That's something hilarious. illegal. He has he has a smile like Jack Nicholson and Batman when he's sitting across the boardroom table before he electrocutes that guy. You know what? I hate all of those movies. <laughs> what one? I like the original ones with Burt Ward. The ones I like those. those I, I don't TV. like I don't like the Tim Burton ones, but I like the Christian Bale one. That one was good. I fell asleep, Joe. That's a shame. But it's only because I was tired. That's a was shame. That Were you tired from moving stuff around, you big tough man? <laughs> no, I wasn't tired. I was tired from hiring op glorified open micers who were middling for some reason. You I, didn't uh, pick up a bunch. Joe, you didn't do shit. You were the laziest I motherfucker. I didn't do shit. I didn't get shit. you know shit. what you were? You, you, you shamed your Egyptian heritage. We didn't move anything. You know what I learned? The, by, wait a minute. <laughs> shut up. You know what I learned by watching you help me move? The Egyptians did not build the fucking pyramids. We, we didn't move a you goddamn stone. You just stood around looking at stones like, eh, what the fuck? The, the Egyptians enslaved people to do it for them. That's a fact. I mean, that's a fact. Why? Who did it? That's a fact. We, they had slaves that did it. And what was their background? I'd rather not say. Why not? 
because they Who were Jewish. <laughs> they were Jewish. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? You know what? Black yeah. people claim that they that they do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy. You know, I don't, I don't want to get into shit. this. I don't want to get into I this. I don't buy that shit because it's like, okay, so you go up there, right? All the Zulus go up there. They build the pyramids, and then they just like, well, I guess we proved our point, and then they went back to their huts. Just can we verify something? When you, you know said all the Zulus, you're referring to a, that actual tribe, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. The same way. I mean. Okay. The same way, dude. Dude, I, I can't even hammer a fucking nail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not trying to be like, why do I got to handle everything with fucking kid gloves? The show is called Uninformed, so I don't know what the proper term is for somebody. Uh, African is stupid because Egyptians are African. African right. is a continent. Black guy. Yeah, some black dude. Right. Okay. How but are they living, man? They didn't have any, they didn't have any fucking pyramids uh, downtown there. I in uh, South Africa over there. I mean, uh, over to downtown like, over there. <laughs> like Archie Bunker. <laughs> you see there. <laughs> see, this is right now. This is what you need right now. We need somebody who actually knows something about uh, to call uh, in. about the Zulu tribe and their ability the to The phone's uh, going to ring and it's going to be somebody going, mortar. you're fired. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Al Sharpton taking this a break? This is the president of XM. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> All right, uh... Dude, this thing is... It's not even being broadcast, okay? So, the phones so aren't on. We're now, not even in a real room. Now, now here, here's... Let's change the name of the show to the Tree Fort Show, okay? And we'll sit here and look at Playboys and giggle. That's uh, that's kind of how I feel about taking over your apartment. Like, you know you know when your friend gets rid of his bike because he, uh -huh. he gets a better bike? And he's like, you want my own bike? I give oh, it to you for like 100 you know what I call, I call I call it the Bobby <laughs> Kelly syndrome. When Bobby yeah. gets some new piece of technology, right? Yeah. And then he has the, his, his old one like, dude, dude, check this out, dude. Yeah. Dude, I bought this a week ago. I don't need it anymore. Yeah. And the second, it's got a 35-inch screen. And the second you buy it, dude, I got a new one. It's got 41. <sighs> His screensaver was mine's better. So you're my... I think the phones are online now. Is that true, Sean? Uh, I have no idea. Sean? What's up? Are the phones online? Is that why you went okay? No, nah, we're, uh, we're having a, a problem in D.C. apparently. I'm going to tell you right now, this is why the phones are not going to be on. When your engineer, when you're like, Sean, Sean, he just goes, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dude, just go back to smoking or snorting, whatever you're doing. Uh, We're just going to once again do three hours of fucking radio staring at each other. I'm going to call. I'm calling him like every five minutes. So I'm going to call him every two, you cocksucker. The second I get updated is the second you guys will get updated. All right. Um, I like how his mic sounds better than mine. It does. He's nice really and crisp does. and nice. clear. He's got that fucking Shadow Stevens uh, bass tone going on over there. And we, we got nothing. Is. You don't know who Shadow Stevens is? No, I don't, Joe. But you know what I do know how to do? Announcer. Is pick up a box when somebody pays me 50 bucks to do it. How do uh, I, I, I... God, I want these fucking phones to come on because I want to know what these people would feel like if you were their landlord. That's what Dude, I want to know. Most times when people, when people help their friends move, the guy just... We weren't them, friends they, back they give, then. They we weren't friends afterwards. at all. Well, let me ask you a question. Why did you do it? Because you offered me 50 bucks and I was that poor. I needed $50. Okay. So? So I helped you out. Yeah, and I helped hey, you out. Hey, if you're standing on the corner with a fucking tin cup, Joe, I don't think beggars can be choosy. <laughs> I helped that you is, out. That is that is a saying. I helped you out. I know it's a saying. <laughs> and I helped you out. You needed somebody to watch the fucking truck. I watched it. What were you going to do? Leave your shit out there un unarmed or unmanned or whatever? I stood on that truck made Dude, sure people nobody stole took, shit. People took, uh, were taking shifts. It was a four-floor walk-up. It was I'm brutal. Moved. I'm not going to lie to you. It was brutal. It was but awful. Steve Byrne was like the marathon man, just running up really? and down the stairs. Do you remember when Steve Byrne left for two fucking hours in the middle of it and then came back? No, Joe. The only thing I remember was you not doing shit. You're hurtful. Maybe I don't remember because Steve didn't, he didn't even accept payment. Because he was headlining 18 colleges a week and he didn't need the no, fucking you know money. Because Steve Byrne is a decent guy. Oh, uh, he is a decent He's guy. He's at least... 38% more of a decent human being than you are, Joe. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that? Uh, <laughs> I feel... Uh, you know what, Bill? I'm not going to go that route with you. I feel, no, you went that route. I feel 95% great that you're my landlord <clears throat> and that you're my friend. Totally different subject. And don't try to guilt me. And Dude, and every once in a while, my friends have riffs. Okay? And we, we, we brought up something we shouldn't have brought up. All right? <laughs> no, we should have brought it up. It was funny. It was funny. I think we talked about it. All right, that then why did you have too. to have the fucking We Are the World ending to it? Because I'm being a douche. What do you think? All right. You know, being fucking sincere? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs>